Hello dear students, welcome to LMS, Department of Collegiate Education, Karnataka. I am Anand, Assistant Professor of English, JFGC Ramnagra. Till now we have looked at five acts spreading into 11 sessions as well as in the last two sessions we have looked at character sketches, important characters as well as minor characters. In this session, session number 14, we are going to look at major themes discussed in the play, Pygmalion. Like uh, appearance and reality, the second one beauty and identity. So how these themes are portrayed or reflected in this drama, we can find through the characters. The learning objective of this session is to understand the core concerns of the author, analyze the theme related to the attitudes of characters and appreciate the play for its social value. Through this uh, session, students are going to learn uh, about the theme, core concerns of the author and critically appreciate the play. The first theme we are going to look at here is appearance and reality. Pygmalion examines this theme primarily through the character of Lisa. We can find the character Lisa as a flower seller in the beginning uh, who wants to learn and uplift herself to the upper class by learning the phonetics by the help of Mr. Higgins. Social roles in the Victorian era were viewed as natural and fixed according to people or expectation of the society. The roles of people in the society are fixed uh, according to different class and this seems to be natural. It was considered to be inherent and fundamentally unique about the noble versus unskilled laborers. laborers. This is what the class differentiation uh, which is inherent in the British society, the upper elite class uh, as well as on the other side is unskilled working class or laborers. Lisa's ability to fool the society about her real identity raises questions about appearances, the appearances and the reality. She cannot find herself comfortable after the change because she could not adjust with the transformed identity. The identity which was uh, forcefully learned is only can uh, fool some people, but in her, there is a guilt, a reality, or a, a real identity is masked. The appearance and reality theme can be observed in the dialogue of Lisa, where she says, you see, really and truly, apart from the things anyone can pick up, the difference between a lady and flower girl is not how she behaves, but how she is treated. So here comes the responsibility of the society, how they receive the girl who has got transformed, innocent girl, a poor girl, gets transformed into duchess, uh, uh, uplifting herself to the upper class. They behave rudely. She finds the identity crisis at this point where she really uh, gets hurt and feels upset from the transformation, even though the transformation is successful, but then it is painful for her. This is what we can uh, contradict the appearance and reality, the identity as such. The next uh, theme is beauty, where you can find, even though the drama is portrayed as a romance, there is nothing called romance between, as expected between Mr. Higgins and uh, uh, Lisa. Rather, we can find the Shaw's uh, interrogation of beauty as a subjective value. One finds beauty in some people, the others may not. One's perception of beauty in another is shown to be a highly complex matter, according to uh, G.B. Shaw. This is how he portrays uh, the beauty concept of beauty as subjective. Uh, as such. For Freddie, here in this context, Freddie, uh, he likes Lisa 
as the person from the beginning of the play till the end. He does not uh, have any such kind of uh, prejudice or is not dogmatic. He does not expect Lisa to be transformed into Duchess so that uh, he can marry. His love or infatuation started from the beginning remains the same form for him uh, because uh, he, for him the beauty is something subjective. Uh, it's not a physical beauty or a sophistication caused by the language. Is totally captivated by what he perceives as her beauty and grace when she is presented him as a lady of the society. The next theme would be identity. The indeterminacy of appearance and reality in the play reveals the significant examination of identity in the play. So there is an indeterminacy. You cannot uh, strongly uh, bifurcate the identity. Uh, because there is an appearance and reality theme along with that. And there is also identity crisis we can find after her, Lisa's transformation. Shaw investigates conflicts between differing perceptions of identity and depicts the end result of Higgins' experiment as a crisis of identity for Lisa. So here is a deliberate attempt to become successful from his point of view. But on the other side, Lisa loses her identity. Lisa's transformation is glorious, at the same time painful, as it leaves a displaced between her former social identity and the new transformed identity here. Neither she can go back to uh, as a flower seller, nor she can place herself comfortably in the um, upper middle class or elite class. She does not have any income after that transformation, going back to her real identity. Lisa no longer knows who she is. This is a uh, identity crisis. Ultimately, she reclaims her identity by marrying Freddy, even though uh, she despises uh, to sell herself by marrying a rich man, according to the suggestion of Mr. Higgins. But ultimately, she finds her real self and uh, one who loves her for her reality actually. As a flower seller, uh, she has been known by Mr. Freddy as well as transformed girl. Her, his love uh, did not change at any point of time. So uh, it is a victory for the real identity or uh, reclaiming uh, her real identity uh, at the end of the play. This uh, ends the session of discussion of three main uh, themes of the Thank you for watching.